The battery life of your electronics and smartphones could be significantly extended with graphene batteries. What you should know is as follows. The lithium-ion batteries on which the IT sector has become so dependent for decades may one day be replaced by graphene. The electrical conductivity of graphene is greater than that of lithium-ion batteries. This enables supply cells to charge more quickly. Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If this is your first visit, please give this video a like. Consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to be the first to know when new content is added. Our goal is to help you learn as much as possible about green technology, zero emission initiatives and the future of innovations. Ok, moving forward. Even at smaller sizes, graphene batteries have been shown to typically have a larger capacity than lithium-ion batteries. These lithium-ion batteries are now in the lead when it comes to energy sources because they have the lowest weight, highest voltage, and maximum energy density when compared to current batteries. The most popular power source for consumer devices is lithium-ion batteries, which also has a long service life, but this appears to be a shifting fact. Although it offers many advantages, its drawbacks must also be taken into consideration. The enormous capacity and large serial parallel number of lithium-ion batteries can lead to issues with cost, consistency, safety and durability. Additionally, it may be overcharged or overdischarged, which may degrade performance over time. Additionally, transportation presents a concern because lithium-ion batteries create shipping hazards and have the potential to explode. Let's quickly review the functional chemistry of lithium-ion batteries. Anode and cathode, which both contain lithium, along with an electrolyte that transports positively charged lithium ions between the two through a separator, make up the essential components of a lithium-ion battery. Since its debut in the 1970s, this system has appeared to be the most efficient way to store and to recharge electrical energy. However, graphene batteries aim to unseat lithium-ion batteries, especially when it comes to safety. The aforementioned divider is crucial to prevent the two electrodes from coming into direct contact because doing so would cause them to quickly heat up and explode. This is an obvious safety hazard especially given that the separator in question is often a thin porous slip of polypropylene. The American Federal Aviation Administration, or the AFAA, has outlawed the shipment of separators as cargo on passenger aircraft because of this problem. Scientists have been working on alternatives which will be more efficient with less hazards. Graphene battery is a promising outcome. The energy density of a graphene battery is five times higher and in addition, no capacity degradation was seen after 400 charge and discharge cycles. In terms of safety, graphene batteries are more dependable. Let's quickly review the functional chemistry of the graphene battery. Graphene is a composition of carbon atoms tightly bound in a hexagonal or a honeycomb-like structure. Because this structure is only one atomic layer thick, a graphene sheet is virtually two-dimensional, which is what makes graphene so special. Excellent electrical and thermal conductivity, great flexibility, high strength, and low weight are just a few of the highly intriguing characteristics that this 2D structure provides. We are particularly interested in the metal's improved electrical and thermal conductivity which is actually better than copper, one of the more widely used conductive metals. With two electrodes and an electrolyte solution, graphene batteries almost eliminate the safety concern that is associated with lithium-ion batteries. However, there is one significant distinction in this situation. A hybrid composite material, usually a solid-state metal plus graphene, is used in place of a conventional solid-state metal in graphene-based batteries 
to replace one of the electrodes, typically the cathode, making it highly unlikely that there would be an explosion at the point where the two electrodes meet. However, the primary selling point of graphene batteries is not even the safety. While lithium-ion batteries are renowned for their high weight to capacity ratio, graphene is a material that is incredibly light and yet an outstanding conductor of electricity and energy thanks to its thin, flat, hexagonal shape. It is really thin, yet nevertheless very powerful and is notably stronger than diamond or steel. Additionally, employing graphene instead of lithium is more affordable and more environmentally benign because it is an allotrope of carbon that is present in nature. There are several ways that graphene's abilities can be applied to batteries. A supercapacitor is the best way to employ graphene as a battery. Supercapacitors are batteries that can hold current just like conventional batteries and charge and discharge extremely quickly. Samsung first made headlines in 2017 for its graphene ball. Although Samsung is said to be working on something, graphene batteries aren't currently powering smartphones, vehicles or devices. More recently, it has been claimed that Tesla and the Chinese automaker GAC are also interested in graphene batteries for their automobile operations. Because graphene batteries will enable smartphones to be thinner or offer greater battery capacity while maintaining their existing proportions, there is now significant interest in these batteries. Fast device-to-device -device charging will be made possible. Extremely high currents and lightning fast recharge and discharge rates are supported by graphene batteries. Battery life should also easily last one or two days because graphene may have a capacity of 60% or more compared to a lithium-ion battery of the same size. Cooler batteries will also increase device lifespans when combined with superior heat dissipation. After a few years, the need for battery changes will significantly decrease, ensuring that your older gadgets continue to function flawlessly. Additionally, the transport industry is interested in the potential range that graphene aluminum ion cells might provide and we are steadily approaching commercial viability. The transition to electric vehicles is accelerating quickly as many European nations, including Germany, the UK and France, plan to outlaw all fossil fuel powered vehicles between 2030 and 2040. The conflict between the more established and conventional lithium-ion batteries and the cutting-edge graphene battery technology is at the forefront of this effort. Fortunately, hybrid graphene products are already available and should continue to become more widely used and reasonably priced over the next few months and years. Even at smaller sizes, graphene batteries have been shown to typically have a larger capacity than lithium-ion batteries. Graphene is a far more efficient energy storage medium than lithium-ion batteries, which can only store up to 180 watt hours per kilogram. Its storage capacity is over a thousand watt hours per kilogram. This naturally means that a graphene battery for cars may have a far longer range on a single charge with a smaller, lighter cell in addition to being safer in the event of a collision. Even better, graphene batteries dissipate heat more efficiently and charge much quicker because their flat, easily conductive structure makes it possible. All of this points to graphene batteries as a technology of the future for all batteries, including those used in electric trucks. Alternatives made of graphene composites are more quickly reaching the market, albeit being cheaper. The inability to affordably mass-produce the ultra-thin sheets for use in batteries and other technologies may prevent graphene batteries from becoming widely used, but research is paving the way for their development. We seem to be getting closer to the commercialization of graphene technologies after waiting for years. The first consumer items are beginning to appear on the market, 
such as battery packs made of graphene composite materials, which use graphene to improve chemical characteristics. Graphene has the potential to displace lithium-ion batteries in the future. And that's where we wrap things up for today. Our team appreciates you staying with us until this point. Our goal is to help you learn as much as possible about green technology, zero emission initiatives, and the future of innovations. And there is quite a great deal of effort put into bringing you entertaining updates. In the meantime, kindly return the favor and give this video a like. Subscribe and hit that notification bell icon to be the first to know when new content is added. The comments you leave on our videos are highly appreciated and sharing them indicates that you like our content and want it to reach a wider audience. Okay, see you in the next video.